Hi all, in this video I will be explaining extrusion handling at Spring Boot application uh, using the Spring Boot 3.3.4 uh, version Java 17 and MySQL Postman and IntelliJ. So in this video I will be creating a demo project uh, and I will hit the API explaining the below concept. I will explain you why uh, extrusion handling is required and also I will create a, a sample project then we will cover the at the rate exception handler annotation and at the rate controller annotation so let's get started so before uh, creating a dummy before creating a dummy project let's uh, understand why exception handling is required so exception handling uh, helps to deal with error and exception present in api so uh, so let's uh, create a uh, uh, sample project so i will be opening spring initializer after selecting uh, the version and the packages there, I will add the dependency. So we need Spring Web dependency to make RESTful services, and we need Spring JPA for the database, and we need MySQL connector, and also we need Plumbox for. I have added all the dependency and I will generate this project in the zip file and I will extract and will open on the IntelliJ. I have uh, added the exception project, sample project, and I will click on this pom.xml and I will add as in Maven dependency. So let's uh, it uh, import all the dependency main class and we see that exception application has been created i will create some of the packages I have created the packages like model and we will be using uh, the customer entity i have created package repository service exception so i will create a customer model class i have created the customer model class with field as id name and address as it is entity class i have noted with entity annotation next i will create a, a repository class so i have created a customer repository class and extended the uh, jpa repository with uh, customer as a entity and uh, the id create a service class and i will implement fields like add customer, update customer and get customer. So I have uh, created the customer service interface the get customer, add customer and update customer. I will create a implementation class and I will implement those methods. So I have written a customer service implementation class with a service annotation and I have implemented those. Uh, so before writing the implementation, I will be uh, creating a uh, exception class i have created a two class called customer already exist exception which extending the runtime ex exception class and no such customer exist class i have wrote the implementation logic let me explain you that logic the get customer it will be we will using find by id to get the customer from customer repository and if uh, no customer exists, then uh, we will throwing a exception called no such element found exception with with a message. And the add customer will first check by ID. And if it is exist, then we will throw the exception called customer already exists exception. And if if the customer is not present, then we will add a new records. Similarly, with update customer, if uh, no customer exists, then we will return a no such customer exists exception. Else, we will update the record with uh, record update successfully method. So now I will create a controller class with API like update, add, or get. So I have created a uh, customer controller class and with rest controller 
as there is a get customer method we will find the customer and add customer and update customer i will run the project and i will hit the api before that we need to have a jdbc connection i will go to this element application dot properties file and i will write this configuration to connect to mysql database the logic with mysql db as a name before that you need to up this my mysql which is running on 3306 i'll open the mysql workbench yeah mysql db i have created I will run the application. I will go to exception dot application class and I will click on this run. Yeah, the application is started at 880. Then I will go to Postman and I will hit the first API. Click on send. Then as you see that the error is coming as with ID3, no customer is present. So by default Spring Boot exception. So why it is mentioned that no customer present with ID3. So now I will explaining you the concept of using exception handler and controller advice annotation. So I have uh, created an uh, uh, error response class matching the status code and the message. I have used the address exception handler on any method. I have created a method like handle customer already exit exception and I have passed a conflict as an HTTP status and the message. So whenever the customer already exist exception occur, then this specific function will execute similarly i will create an controller advice class for the global level accession handler so i have created an class called global accession handler with controller advice annotation and as i mentioned that accession handler will be a method level annotation then other status code will be not found if we are no such customer exception occurred so i will run the application and i will show you on the postman how the responses are coming the application is started let's go to postman and i will add some record let add the first record which is one already present then if we try to add then it will be showing a status code as 409 which is config and a custom message as customer already exists and when we want to add a new record then it will be given 200 error response and if we want to update the customer Let's we are updating in the second customer which is present. Then it will be response will report updated successfully. And if you want to update the customer with ID 3 which is not present, then it will be giving 404 no such customer exists. So thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel to get daily videos on software development.